Cha, I'm Black Hamong from Sapa in North Vietnam. Today we're talking about water. And we have two types of rice, dry rice and wet rice, like you can see here. Winter is finished now, and a few days are here, it's having a lot of rains. The people, they need the water, so they're going to take the water to put it inside the rice field, to getting ready to start to grow the rice. Up the mountain, is having the stream and the water coming down. Hmong people have to go up there to taking the water, put it down from our rice field to getting wet. That's something you guys might not know. All of this rice field is flowing. The water is coming in at the top, out at the bottom. That means we use gravity to irrigate our rice field. There are two main reasons why we need the water to grow our rice. Number one is bring nutrition to help our rice to grow. And number two is the natural pesticide. In this rice field water, they have a lot of animal in. It's fish and frog. And they're helping us a lot to protect our rice. Is when the grasshopper coming inside the rice, it's difficult because if they're falling down the water, the fish or the frog will eat them. So it's the same thing like the mice. If you want to eat a rice, you have to swim across the water. So sometimes they don't do it. And the water is helping us to protect the rice to grow very good. And later in the year, we were cutting the rice and we're still having the frog and the fish and the eel to eat. It's the big part of our culture. It's how amazing of this water. And this rice field isn't natural. It's my Hmong people build it of this step rice. It's over the hundreds of years and it's very difficult to make it. And doing the rice is very difficult. It's even one year we have to clean in the grass and dig in the hole and fixing the wall. Every single year we have to do all the big hard work. The final thing I want to talk about is the engineering. Just think about it. If we make the rice, it's a little bit bending like this, then up here it will be too dry, and down here it will be too much water. So it doesn't work. The rice will die. So we have to make perfectly shape for the rice, and we don't need all of this is by eye watching. This rice field are ready to plant it over the next few days. I will show you how we plant it. And if you have any questions to asking about this video today, please ask. I would love you to answer. Thanks for watching this 